People who live here in the Red Hook House say the woman used to rough up her husband all the time. Cops say things got really rough this morning because they think he strangled her and then tried to commit suicide. She's abusive. She beats him up all the time. Blondie says she's lived in Brooklyn's Red Hook houses since she was a little girl. And she grew up living right by Patrick and Pamela Scully, who lived inside apartment 1A at 151 Richard Street. But the wife is dead and the husband is in the hospital. We all surprised because that's not, we never thought of him doing nothing. that. None of that. So he's very, I mean, we must have, he couldn't have taken no more. New York City cops think Mr. Scully killed Mrs. Scully and then tried to kill himself. Several people we talked to say the woman would routinely beat up the man. He probably couldn't have taken no more for being here. I heard not too long ago she hit him in the back of the head with a bat. She kicks him in the streets. He, she um, calls him names. I knew him since I was a little boy, so... He was a good guy, a good guy. She was very violent towards him. They got along good, but, like, when they drank and all that, they just started getting violent. Police say that violence could have led to the husband strangling his wife and then trying to take his own life by stabbing himself in the chest. I knew him since I was, like, nine years old. Nine. He was like a father to me in a different color, but he was a real nice man. And then plus he was a veteran, too. We just don't believe that Scully would do something like that. Not him. He goes to the store for everybody out here. He doesn't bother nobody. He's in and out. That's it. She's the one that's just the abuser.